Here's what's making news now around Indiana. The River Ridge Commerce Center in Jeffersonville could soon be home to a $52 million CBD manufacturing facility. California-based Lane USA says that operation would have the capacity to process a minimum of 5,000 tons of hemp biomass each year. Economic development officials from one southern Indiana say Lane is signed a purchase and sales agreement. And some history at the South Bend International Airport this week when the Liverpool Football Club landed there, marking the first commercial flight ever at the airport. Customs and Border Protection agents can now clear international passengers at the new Federal Inspection Service Facility. Liverpool, a soccer club from England, is in South Bend this weekend for a match at Notre Dame Stadium. Well, a farmer in Gaston, that's Delaware County, says he's bringing together innovation from agriculture, energy, and technology to create products to feed, power, and sustain finite natural resources for generations to come. Joining me now uh, with more on Constant Canopy, pleased to be joined by CEO Jason Mock and Chief Operating Officer Jonathan Lamb. They're going to talk about this cutting-edge farming uh, method that's uh, really getting some national attention. Gentlemen, welcome to the program. Thank you. Uh, I think this is a great example of innovation that's happening in Indiana, the uh, agronovus and the uh, ag biosciences, lots of stuff around the state. Uh, Jason, I want to start with you because this whole relay cropping uh, system is not new. It's been around for a long time. Talk about that and how you kind of got a hold of it and have, have advanced it, if you will. So starting from the beginning, it started in, in the Depression. Uh, farmers had sown wheat inside corn. Uh, the rows were wider to <laughs> let a uh, horse go through the rows. So Ohio State has done about 30 years of research. And my background was in uh, landscaping. So I came to the farm, and it just didn't make much sense that we were only growing one crop. I'm used to flowers and all these different plant species. Um, so I started experimenting with, with wheat and soybeans. There was a herbicide synergy there in place. And through four years trial and error, kind of yeah. that's where we're at. So, so, so planting them together, and again, you, you did that trial and error or, over the course of four years and really had a breakthrough here in the last year or so. Yeah, we, uh, as I know, I think we broke a state record, wow. uh, 108 bushel soybeans. And that was after uh, 32 bushel wheat that mm -hmm. we basically just applied manure in a strip and the wheat grew off of that manure. Yeah. Uh, so we had a net negative cost, all contribution margin. Yeah, I want to talk about how, how it works. But Jonathan, getting a lot of national attention, right, uh, with this process. Yeah, absolutely. And Jason's built a great following on social media and just sharing the ideas. And that's the whole idea behind Constant Canopy is, you know, it's a system to make farms more profitable and people really like it and come out and see the videos you can follow Jason on Twitter and have a lot of things on YouTube and just really explaining the process to people and so they can understand it so essentially kind of a service uh, that you're providing uh, and, and getting a lot of attention in that way absolutely yeah uh, okay Jason so it, it's uh, it's wheat and soybeans how, how does it work how does it, what's the what's the whole idea here? well we let the wheat replace a lot of costs so the wheat will draw moisture consumption uh, and kind of mirror the supply and demand graph, if you will, of water. And as you know, we've had a really wet spring, challenging. So it's drawing moisture out of the soil profile. The, the beans will grow in the wheat roots and the wheat is in time and space controlling the wheat pressure in that space. So once we remove the wheat, we get contribution margin and then allow sunlight to actually infiltrate into the soybean canopy, but we have the corpse of the wheat laying down on the ground floor. Mm -hmm. So we can cool the surface, the beans get more light, yeah. and I call it, that's when the magic happens. Very good, and, <laughs> and uh, this state record last year, right? Is that right for soybeans? Yeah, absolutely, and uh, the beans he's growing right now in the field are I mean, some of the best beans in the state, really, just because so many people uh, haven't been able to get into the fields, and yeah. what uh, when people came to our field day and really saw how large the beans were mm -hmm. that Jason's getting, I don't know the nodes count that he's getting on them, it's pretty amazing. Well, it is innovation in agriculture in Indiana, constant canopy. Uh, Jason Mock, also Jonathan Lamb, thank you both. We'll follow your story. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.